Hello everybody, this is Shock and it's 1000 here reporting for Tuesday, welcoming to you to what I'm promising to be is to be the finale of Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. Last time we managed to complete the uh, Rooftop Frenzy and Subway Saw Masquer Masquerade Tournament and we've only got one tournament left in Stage 8. The TV Zone Terror, where we are allowed to use any robot we want and what better way to use it then the most pushability factor of Bayamoth. So any through the delay, let's get on with the most difficult task at hand. That is if I don't keep letting out some gas, that is. Oh, we got a mad bomber again. Alright, starting off on a highly explosive turn of offence, and Sabretooth is the one starting off with the bomb, and he manages to get a hold of us by swinging his axe. Oh, Porcupine's been flipped. <laughs> well, that's a quick match. Sabretooth sat on top of the pit the very second I opened it up. Wheelie Big Cheese decided to follow after Sabretooth in the pit. And Porcupine got flipped. <coughs> so that's one round down. Three more to go before we get to battle the arena champion. And honestly, I have no idea who the arena champion is. Because I'm indecisive between two robots at the moment. Okay, so we got Juggernaut. He's allowing me to push open the pit. We're just going to allow Shun to attack Juggernaut because apparently uh, house robots love attacking everybody. And there we go. They're gone. <laughs> I'm that used to playing in the TV studio because it's my number one favorite stage because it makes me feel like I'm actually in the live show all those years ago. Because that's exactly what the TV studio used to look like when I watched Robot Wars for the very first time in my life, which was back in 2002 when it did... The fifth wars. Right, revolutionist, major damage, and crasher. Is this uh, for annihilator or is it another mad bomber? I didn't actually see the title. I assume it's annihilator. Yeah, it's an annihilator. And major damage drove into the pit the very second I opened it. That's the second time this tournament has happened now. Oh, there you go. Revolutionist is flipped. And we're going to push him down in that pit. And then Crasher will shortly follow them afterwards. Right, come on, Crasher. Wait, why has the ref got the number 10 on him? Really? Come on. Why do... Why do these blinking... Okay, there we go. We managed to spin him around. Wait. That was the end already? <laughs> but we only did three rounds. That was literally the third round. All right. All right, fine. I guess this is the finale after all. Right, Arena Champion Battle against Chaos 2 in Mars. Yeah, kind of weird to say the least how the Arena Champion is in Mars. You actually do a Pokemon battle in Mars. Right, this could be actually hard as a fight because Chaos 2 can be a hard robot to fight against with his speed. Two, one, 
So we're going to hope for the best. No. Okay. At God's sake. The arena is so annoying to navigate around in this area because of the fact that there's so many dips. You can get yourself snagged under. I'm wanting to get... There we go. There's the fun part sorted out. And then I lost it by turning too far to the left. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In the pit. In the pit. In the pit. Go on. Oh, come on. Of course it works out for them, but it doesn't work out for me. Alright. No, it's not the double door. Pfft. Yeah, it's saying double door. It sounds like you're saying Dumbledore somewhat. Right, there you go. We've got Chaos 2 pinned in the wall here. All right, come on, towards the pit, towards the pit, towards the pit. Ugh. Right, Chaos 2's flipped. But he does have that flipper. <clears throat> or, has it broken? Has his flipper broken, actually? I think it has. So, if that's the case, let's activate the anti-gravity. There we go. Uh, Sergeant Bash. Always doing that interrupting thing. Every time. And now Matilda is interfering. Look at that. All the house robots are interfering in this fight now. Okay. Anti-gravity once again. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Chaos 2 is flipped. But then immediately Bash attacks him and flips him back up. I swear, Dan, if we lose this fight because of that. Nope, we win. <clears throat> we beat Chaos 2 in the first try. Uh, okay, uh, so we got 241. And Chaos 2 got 226. Right. So. <clears throat> you think that's the end, right? Because like, we've beaten the final arena champion. Oh, no. We're not over yet. There's one more thing to do. The final battle. Well done, Robert Deer. You're nearly there. Get through this supreme round of endurance and there may be a special surprise for you. Believe me when I say this, this special surprise is not even worth going for. But we're going to do it anyway. Because when I said there's an endurance in this mode, I weren't kidding. We're going to use Bayamoth in this. <coughs> and the arena that you're actually fighting is random. It chooses one of the eight at random. But the most common it always picks is in Mars. Yeah, that's the most common. And I don't know if I actually like, had a malfunction problem with the microphone then, because I heard a <laughs> noise with it. Now, this is one weird way of, of bringing in a robot. There you go. So, our so, with an endurance, what happens is, you're basically fighting seven robots, and you have to defeat all of them in order to win the fight. The longer you take to actually beat them, the more robots will pop up, making it harder for you to defeat them all. 
because, well, as you can pretty much tell, um, all seven of the robots will attack you. They will not attack each other. Okay, so Firestorm's flipped. And once a robot is immobilized, they will immediately bring in the next robot, just let you know. Oh, really? So we're going to be dealing with a Behemoth of our own. Right, come on, bring the switch out. No, I want the uh, double door. Oh, not Panzer Mark. I don't want Panzer Mark. Come on. Well, we have beaten Firestorm at least. Right, come on. Come on, hurry up already. No, do the double door. I want the double door. <sighs> yeah, this is honestly not an endurance fight. But basically, I want this fight to be successful. But you're always going to be battling against the veteran robots. Oh, it's not even bothering giving it me. It's a very rare chance. I do want it to happen because you'll get rid of so many robots at once. They're, they're not immobilized. They're just sat there waiting for me to get off that space. Come on. But anyway, we've had Firestorm, Wheelie Big Cheese, Bayamoth, Chaos 2, Panzer Mark 4, Tornado, and one of the house robots, Sergeant Bash. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right, come on, push Bash out there, push Bash out there. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's gone through the terminal, but he's not out. Okay, so we've got a one on one fight against Wheelie Big Cheese now. So we've managed to get rid of all those robots all at the same time. And uh, it's also depending on how fast you can actually do the fight, of course. There's no max time limit, of course. So you're basically free to do it at your own free pace, really. Come on, Wheelie Big Cheese, over this way. Uh, no, not pushing me down there. Go on, down you go. Down you go. There you go. Oh, he's actually out. So there we go, we win. That's it. Yeah, Rebel Wars World, Cham World Cup Championship, and this is what it is. A clock, but I'm gonna keep it over there for a the time being because watch what happens if you leave it on there long enough. It begins shaking, and then three, two, one, boing! It smashes into little pieces, making it believe that you did all of that for nothing. But there you go. That's it. That's story mode. That's everything complete in Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. We've beaten the game. And that's the end of the LP. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I'm sorry there's no credits. Because basically... Um, well... We don't really want to see credits on every single game, do we? But regardless... That's it. That's the finale. 
of Robo Wars Extreme Destruction. And actually, it didn't even take me that long to do the LP, actually. It only took me about one week in real time. But it did take a good number of episodes, so <laughs> you kind of wouldn't expect that. But anyway, that's it for this LP. Join me next time when I'll be doing something completely and utterly different that you wouldn't expect me to do normally in my channel. Okay? I'll see you guys then.